amen, amen. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. He loved the world. It sounds like a past tense thing. I've heard other preachers say he so loved the world. Maybe they try to emphasize that it's always been there. So there's two different ways of looking at that verse. And quite frankly, I don't understand how that's so hard for people to understand. I've heard good people, really good people, um, strong Christians who have interpreted it, that he loved the world before and he hates it now. I'm here to tell you that's not true. God always loves the world. He's always loved the world. And he's always going to love the world. And that's what the cross is all about. That's what the mercy of God is all about. In his mercy, he died. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. So, um, if you think about three different things, God so loved the world that he what? He sent his only son. And in the preaching of the cross of his son that died because of the love of God is still going on today. Meaning, um, if he doesn't, if he did, if he still loves the world, then it's okay to preach the gospel. If there's no more love now today, then the gospel has is none effect. It's, it's done. The, 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 the provisions of the cross is over. Um, and if it's not over, then, you know, then, then his love is still there. And if, uh, if, if, if the love is still there, then, then, there, then that interpretation is false. we got to look at all the truths. I mean, that one alone is really simple. Just because God hates the workers of iniquity doesn't mean that he doesn't love. You know, the same way a, a spouse of a, a, a man against his wife says, Oh, I love her, but I hate her. And a wife says to the husband, Oh, I love him, but I can't stand him. Oh, I hate him too. It's a love-hate thing. You know, there's one aspect, I can't stand him. One aspect, I love him. You know, that's what the complications of life where leadership comes in. It starts having to make tough decisions because there's so many aspects to consider and try to make the best decision that you can and be the wisest decision that, decision maker that you can be. But uh, just because God hates all workers of iniquity doesn't mean there's not an aspect of love there as well. There's just so many different factors and so many truths to consider that we can't take this shallow version of the Bible anymore. We can't we can't make these one-liner statements and, and assume that there's not more things to complicate the matter. There's there's plenty. There's plenty to complicate the matter. Amen. So uh, does God still love everybody? Yes, he still loves everybody. His mercy endures forever. His love never faileth and it's a never-ending love because God is love. His love will be for those who end up in heaven forever. His love will be for those that end up in hell forever. It, it's not a matter of that. We don't want to make God shallow. We don't want to make the Bible shallow. And there's so many truths to consider simultaneously with every every preaching that we bring. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't count to bring the one-liners. Oftentimes they're they're not altogether true. They need to be explained better than 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 that. But it's a false it's a false doctrine to say that he loved the world before and he doesn't love him anymore. That is not true. God always loved. He's always he still loves, and he's always going to love whether you end up in heaven or hell. It's not the issue. His love never faileth, and his salvation is still open to multitudes of people, billions of people on the face of the earth right now. The the grace door is open for you to turn. If you turn, God will forget your wicked deeds, and you'll be pardoned. And if you turn back to uh, the sinful world, he'll forget your righteous deeds, and it'll be as if it didn't happen either. Ezekiel 18 shows you the list of things that you'll be doing if you plan on going to heaven and the things you shouldn't be doing if you plan on escaping hell. Amen. So does God's love endure forever? Yes. Did God so love the world? Yes. If, it, if, if his love is ended, the gospel is over and there's no point in preaching anymore. Amen.